Hi, my name is Haley Byram. Um, I'm from Tyler, Colorado, and I was able to go to Pullman, Washington, which is on the border of Idaho, which it's in the Palouse, so it was a very beautiful place. Um, I was able to study at Washington State University, and I studied veterinary behaviorism. So basically what that means is I worked with a dog therapist, um, and then this was who I worked with. This was Dr. Finucci. Um, she was just such a phenomenal um, person. She has her PhD in applied animal behaviorism, and she was just such a phenomenal person. Um, we actually, that was us during the eclipse. We got 97% um, totality, which was pretty cool. Um, so this is where I worked. This was the hospital. Um, my generic day, would I would get up and go to the behavior room. And we have two hour appointments because our clients have a lot of issues. <laughs> um, they have a lot of behavior problems. So it's not your generic, take your vet, take your dog to the vet and figure out what's wrong with them. It's diagnosing and assessing um, behavioral issues. And then I was fortunate enough to have my own patient. This is Oscar. Um, he had a lot of problems. Um, he was, he had chronic anxiety. He um, would get so stressed out that he would go into a fit and then throw out his back um, and then not be able to walk. So that was, <laughs> that was bad. And through pharmaceutical intervention and behavior modification, oops, we were able to um, partially eliminate these um, issues, which was phenomenal. Um, it was so cool to see in such little time. And then we also did a puppy class while I was there. We taught a puppy class. Um, they were so stinking cute. These are the three dogs that we worked with. It was basically like a seven day train your puppy to be perfect. Um, this dog was actually probably like this big. She was so cute. She was so cute. Um, but yes, it was phenomenal to be able to work with these dogs and to um, learn so many things about dog training and everything. Um, and then this was my host family. Um, we went on hikes and they had a blackberry bush, which was my favorite part because they were so good. And then um, my takeaways are um, when going into veterinary science, try to avoid state facilities. Um, there are lots of regulations and rules that you can avoid by going general. So what I mean by that is in general practice, you don't have, it's like your normal veterinary school, you, not school, but place. You don't have to um, have all those regulations. And then um, veterinary behaviorism is very, very important work. It is the number one cause of euthanasia in pets. So um, dogs and cats are primarily the issue. And then uh, behavior problems are not confined to humans. Um, dogs have chronic anxiety. Dogs have dementia. Dogs, you know, like there's not just um, behavior problems that are present in humans. And um, my advice to future interns would be to do it, that it's a phenomenal program and it'll absolutely broaden your horizons. And see if this is actually what you wanna do. Um, I, because I went and I studied veterinary science, um, it really fortified the fact that yes, this is what I wanna do um, in the future. So it was awesome. And just thank you to everybody who made it possible for me to do this. It was an amazing experience. Thank you. Thank you.